Hey, welcome back to Homegrown Country Home Place, friends. How y'all doing today? Y'all, I'm out here in my leather shop, and I've got this uh, knife that I purchased while I was on vacation at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And this is going to be my first case pocket knife to ever uh, buy. I just want to bring y'all along and show you what I bought there. And uh, let me go ahead and take it out of the box here. I got a good deal on it. It was on sale, and I got like $12 cheaper than what it would normally cost. So y'all, here's what I got here. I got this uh, case, it's a two blade, uh, four size trapper uh, knife. And uh, it's, it's the one that's got the green synthetic smooth handles on it. And uh, my intention was going up there buying a uh, Buck Creek knife that I've seen, trapper knife, and had a nice uh, bone green handles on it. And I really liked that. And um, I looked at Bear and Son, uh, Trapper knife and uh, looked at uh, hen and rooster and uh, one, two more there. And I looked at this case and I settled in on the case knife because it was a good deal. Uh, also, it, it was actually sharper right out of the box. Now, this does not have the uh, 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 chrome, I believe it's like chrome vanadium uh, blade. This is going to be like the regular. I think it's called like surgical sharp it's a stainless steel blade um but anyway y'all this is a pretty nice knife and uh, i just want to show y'all uh what i got and give you a little more details i got the nickel silver type bolsters on it y'all see that there it has the brass uh pins in it and show the back side right there and everything, you know, has got good lines on it. It's nothing rough on this knife. And I checked that real good before, you know, bought it. Just to be sure, you know, everything was good on it. And everything's good and smooth. No uh, cracks. Good even um, handle material here where it butts up with the bolster. It just fits real good there. Let me show you. The, there's the uh, clip point lay there and uh these let me let you hear that right there too it locks in real good got good tight blade in it and the spade blade here let me open this up show you what it looks like same way with this one right here it's got a good uh tight blade it doesn't move or anything it locks got good action And the model number is 4254. And this knife is made in the United States, as well as the other case knives, I'm assuming. And uh, just a really nice uh, case trapper knife. And uh, I believe this uh, lasts me a long time. And uh, I haven't carried it yet, y'all. I just, like I said, I just got it now. And I just want to do a video, show y'all what I got. And it was on vacation there. And also, for comparison, I purchased this uh, Rough Rider uh, Trapper Knife. And um, show you that right there. And it's a really good knife for the money, y'all. So, so far, I've been carrying this in my pocket. And uh, I really like this knife. It's got like a nice little brown, uh, dark brown bone handle. And it's got like a brass looking bolsters on it. And uh, this knife also has uh, real clean uh, lines on it and good good handle where it mates up with a bolster. It don't have no cracks. Really, really good finish. Let me show you up close there so y'all can get a better look at that knife. And uh, I'm open the blade up on this one. That clip blade this is going to be uh, stainless steel also and uh let me get my glasses y'all i'm seeing something on there it's saying something about the blade here let me see it says 440 razor sharp steel 440 i don't know if y'all can see that right there or not but anyway it says razor 
440 razor sharp steel and uh, this is a china made knife which you know it's pretty sharp out of the box y'all uh, let me show you the spade blade wipe that off there I've been carrying this knife there's a spade blade right there and uh, I say it's also it's going to have uh, brass pins in it and uh, you see that side the blades they're good and straight they don't they don't touch right there they don't touch either, each other and let me see this knife here show you that this in here same way um, now let's compare the two together give you an idea what size and everything they're pretty much the same length right there and you see that right there about the same length uh, on the width of them that's what they look like right there beside each other and they're gonna be about the same thickness right there made this a uh, little bit taller uh this a little bit more slimmer profile on the handle material this sticks up a little bit more but pretty much a, a identical on the bolster shawl y'all can see the bolster the silver right on this is a little bit uh wider than this right here um that's the main difference i can see and just the appearance of for most part you know and uh holding this way here y'all can see them right there Let me open these uh, blades up. Kind of compare these blades here while, while you're here at it there. The style, the clip point blade there. You can kind of see right there with them right beside each other. Um, just a little bit more sharper clip point here on this uh, Rough Rider. Um, this got a little bit more, um, I guess you say, um, All right, y'all got distracted there. 18 wheeler just came down the road there. Uh, a little bit more. It ain't a drop point, but it's a uh, look. You know, it's both of them's clip points, but this one's a little bit sharper there. So I'm gonna show y'all the other spade blade on this and and compare it to the trapper, the case trapper. Put them together there match them up okay y'all can see them they they look pretty similar right there on them too so but like i say this knife right here costs uh, a third of what this knife here costs and this is a really good knife y'all and uh, i look forward to uh actually using this case knife and get some time behind both of them and uh just want to bring y'all along and show you, show you this little knife I got. And uh, if y'all, uh, that's like I say, it's the first time I had a case pocket knife. But uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. And uh, if y'all got any comments, anything on the, uh, these knives, or if you got one like this one, or another case pocket knife that you know you've had for a long time that you, you know you you like, or maybe maybe it's one of these rough rider pocket knives, you know. That you've uh, had for a while and good or bad y'all leave a comment down below tell me what you think about them you know um if i held up good for you the the blade um the sharpness and like i, said, I don't expect you know be honest we even with the case i don't i don't expect this knife to you know hold an edge you know like some of the other metals and stuff but uh definitely not this in here but like i say i haven't put them through their paces yet but that's something I'm going to be doing. And uh, like I say, if y'all got a comment about either, you know, these knives or maybe another, you know, case knife or a uh, Rough Rider knife that you have, just leave a comment down below. And uh, I like reading all the comments. And I appreciate y'all coming along today, y'all. And uh, as always, friends, from my family to yours, y'all have a blessed day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.